purpose tool, sanitation and personal hygiene items, copies of personal documents, It is January 5th, 2021. That's going to take a lot of getting used to. And since it's the new year, I wanted to update our emergency list, but I thought I would take you guys along with me so you guys know what I put in my emergency and evacuation um, bag and go bags. Um, so maybe you could get some ideas. I got all of these. I took a couple different lists from a couple different websites and put them together to make one big list of everything that we would need in an evacuation or if, God forbid, a fire happened and we had to get out, um, or earthquake, anything like that. So, obviously, if there's a fire in the house, we're getting pastel, Tommy, and us, and getting out, and we're not taking time to get anything, because it can all be replaced if they can't. But, if we're being evacuated from the area, we have an evacuation list. So this is all of my emergency prepared lists, and um, this is the minimum. So on the bottom is personal supplies, and the top is basic supplies, and then the other pages are also some other supplies that would be good to take, and then the back is our main supplies that we would take um, with an evacuation. So, I thought I would walk you guys through it because it might be fun and you guys might um, want to know, hey, what should I take during any kind of evacuation? So, I'm going to show you the list first. Okay, so this is a minimum basic list, but I've added a couple different ones together. So, one gallon of water per person for a three-day supply for evacuation, um, two-week supply at home, foods, non-perishable, easy-to-prepare um, items, flashlight, battery powered hand crank radio, extra batteries, deluxe family first aid kit, medications, multi-purpose tool, sanitation and personal hygiene items, copies of personal documents um, such as proof of address, deeds, leases, passports, birth certificates, all that kind of stuff, cell phone with charger, um, Family emergency contact information, extra money, emergency map, uh, emergency blanket, and a map of the area. And then these are for specialty family member supplies, medical supplies, as in hearing aids with extra batteries, glasses, contacts, that kind of thing. Baby supplies, games, pet supplies, as in collars, ID, food, carrier, bowl, um, two-way radio, extra set of car keys and house keys, and manual can opener. And these are just some additional supplies that you might need. Whistle, surgical mask, matches, rain gear, towels, work gloves, tools, clothing, um, plastic sheeting, duct tape, scissors, household, bleaches, entertainment items, blankets, or sleeping bags. So on the third page, I printed out a map of our apartment and put marks next to all the exits and purple marks next to where our fire alarms are and where our meeting spot is. We have one copy. We have one copy for the emergency kit and one in each of the bedrooms. And this is a list of the things that we would need to grab in an emergency situation. Obviously Tommy and Pastel, um, the household book with all of our documents and things, our family photo book with um, emergency a CD of photos that um, have all the photos we would need. Our emergency pack, which is the black duffel. Tommy's go bag, which is in the emergency pack, and definitely a cell phone. But we have a whole binder paper, which I'll show you, that has a full list of everything we would need. So this paper is the one that goes into our emergency pack, so we can make sure that we have everything. And like I said, each of us have a copy of an the emergency map with the exits and meeting spaces and a list of what we would need to grab personally. 
So this one is obviously our copy and it's in one of our go bags ready to go and ready. So this is one of my items that I would grab in an emergency and um, Andrew actually made this like a really long time ago. He gave it to me more recently. I basically packed it with important things to me that I don't necessarily use but that I would want to um, keep and take with me. Um, so this is pretty much just packed full with stuff like that. Photos, old YouTube videos, journals that have important stuff in them, friendship bracelets, um, there's the first crystal I ever got is in there, um, my spiritual stuff, like my class stuff, um, photo things, games, these are all photo books of like the cats, me and Andrew's engagement photos, and me and my brother some Funko Pops in here <laughs> which of course there is right this is probably so dumb but like a candle with my Capricorn sign so I can keep it nice and have at least one and then uh, the save drive for all my videos um, this is the older one and the other one obviously will sit in here too but it's not um, in here currently and then this is filled with a bunch of the old um, my my jewelry that I got from my grandma that I inherited from my grandma. It's like really old jewelry um, that I, number one, wanted to keep safe in the first place because it's like really old and I don't want it to like break or anything. And then also just in case, so just be right in here, ready to go basically. And as you guys know, I take this backpack almost every time I travel anywhere so this has like my address book my important notes and stuff it's got some YouTube stuff like a charger and all that stuff in the front pockets um, and then some of my other little books and things it's got my new spare headphones in here and then obviously I put my laptop and everything in here um, in an emergency situation this is what Andrew wants in an emergency situation. He wants us to grab his most important item, besides pastel, of course, his 19-inch Batman. So, he doesn't have a bag like I do or a box that has all the important things that he would want to keep and take with him. He just wants his giant Batman. So, that's what Andrew would take. And obviously, in an evacuation situation, we would take Pastel's whole cage because it has literally everything besides food that she would need. So I have some basic clothes also ready just that sit in the side of my dresser prepared to go at if we ever needed it. So tank top, a couple of shirts, and then a night shirt, and two pairs of leggings. And they just sit right here in my dresser just so I can... Grab them and go if needed during an emergency. This one is our emergency book. Obviously, it says emergency. And this is our emergency duffel that's all ready to go in case of any emergency. And pretty much packed to the brim with everything we would need. One of the coolest parts is the little side zipper fits all of our fits our emergency paper. So it doesn't, we don't have to shuffle through the giant part of the duffel to get our emergency list. It's just right on the side. So this is our emergency book. This is the start of our evacuation list for just the house in general. And then this is my personal list, things I would need to grab, Andrew's list. And then we also, this is the grab if we're not home list, which is similar to the other one, but just more specific and descriptive. And then Funko list, <laughs> which Andrews, of course, is the 19 inch Batman, cause why not, right? <laughs> and then here we have all of the items in the duffel bag um, just so we can keep track of it and also fix it if we need to, like, add more supplies or anything like that. And then the rest of the book is just stuff that we have in the household to keep track of everything. 
So this section is all of our movies. Then we have all of our CDs and books and all that stuff in the back. And this book um, sits basically on a little shelf right next to the duffel. So this book is one of the items, emergency binder, um, that <coughs> we would have to grab in an evacuation. So um, I'm buying a binder soon to put this and then the other papers in that we need, but that will be on the shelf next to this one. So this is the pet stuff that we have. Blanket for Tommy, pastel and Tommy food, pastel treats, Tommy toys. He's got like three toys here, and then he has some toys in the car too. Um, a little, pastel likes to sit on this, so just like a little comfort thing for pastel. Something to clean Tommy's paws drinking spot um a, well food for pastel and then a water bottle for her tommy's leash and an extra harness um fan for pastel extra puppy paw wipes puppy comb in here he has uh food treats and he also has um a little toy something to wash his feet and medication a little toy for pastelli that's all the pet section. We also have extra sand for pastel in there too. So this is our medical section. Um, again, it's not complete, but we have most of the stuff we need. First aid kit. All the kind of cold pack, band-aids, all that kind of stuff. The problem is, is this one was from my grandma, so it was like kind of used already, so we gotta refill this. Um, emergency survival wrap, blanket thing, extra packs of masks, we got Kleenex, gloves, elastic bandage, sanitizer, we have a bigger sanitizer than this, sunscreen, we have a bigger sunscreen of this, um, I'm not gonna pretend to announce this, <coughs> this, gloves, Toothpaste, extra rag, cough drops, those things. And then this is all our household stuff that we have. Oh, we have one of those little medicine things too. Um, games, we got cards, we got... Even though this looks really interesting, we have a knife in here just in case we need to open anything or anything like that. Can opener, tape flashlight this is a um a thread kit and it also on this side has like a mirror comb thing pens emergency candles um matches plates cups clips hairpins one of those um metal clip things I'm bad explaining that scissors hair ties extra mask note paper an extra light household documents and a uh, dog tracker thing headphones this is all of our um, chargers and then this is a universal one that can charge my battery for my camera and everything. And this is for phones. There's a phone cord in here. Command strips. And I think a case for my battery in here too. Tons of cups. Tons of plates. Our emergency book. Don't think I ever got anything. This is why I forgot. So we have this thermometer in there. Castor oil, Tylenol, um, Orgel, and we have a pack of toothbrushes. 